Today we test our super bat knowledge. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Welcome to the show, the one, the only, Mr. Kevin Smith. I've always wanted to sit at this desk. Oh, How does it feel? Man. It fe honestly, I thought it was made of rubber. So <laughs> feeling made it's of wood. wood. It's, it's very authentic. It's Everything got, about the set is authentic. It's yes. got layers of nastiness on it, So, and I don't yeah. want to go into it. but yeah, there's um, a lot of stuff. Don't, I don't rub know, it too I much. I feel hope and perspiration. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and a few bad jokes that didn't hit. That is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, now, here's the deal. Happened. With the new uh, Batman vs. Superman movie coming out, hmm. we got to brush up. We, right. we got to get super smart, and uh, we need a little help with that. I think I can help you boys with that. I know a thing or two about comic books. We should, uh -oh. play, a, we should play a game. All right, let's play It's a Bird. It's a Plane. It's Holy Trivia, Super Batman. Hello and welcome to another thrilling edition of Holy Trivia, Super Batman. I'm your host, Kevin Smith. I got the boys with me here, Rhett and Link. Hey, We're going to go head to head. Shut up. <laughs> They're going to go head to head in this battle over uh, what they know about both Batman and Superman. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely right. nothing. The winner... Gets a sidekick. Oh, sweet. Oh, I thought Link was my sidekick. Oh, I thought oh, Rhett was oh, my sidekick. Why well, play the game? You both have a sidekick already, unless you're Each looking other. to trade up. Oh, yeah, I'll trade up. Okay. Gladly. All right, I can take it. We are not going to get any of these right, so it's just a question of you awarding the point to the person who gets it least wrong. You know, every contestant of a game show should explain the game to the host. <laughs> so I'm glad we know I'm, this. I'm That's just, how it works I'm just around here. Excellent call. Man. Excellent call. Believe so me, if you, I'm involved, everyone's expectations are very, no, very low. You gotta you gotta find a way to give points out and it's not gonna be correct answers. Right. All right, you ready to do this? Not quite. Hold on. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Are you gonna play the game like that? Do you think I should? Heaven, just commit! I don't think I can keep this up. I think I'm gonna lose some, lose my voice. All right, here we you go. Look better that way. All right. um, as the game master, as the quiz master, as the Riddler, if you will. Ah. You guys understood that one, right? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. So ding, ding. Each get a fantasy point. <laughs> or, shall I say, a mythical point. Oh, Keeping no. it on brand, kids. <laughs> Keeping right it language. on brand. All right, here we go. When Batman trolls the online chat rooms. What? It happens. He uses the alias blank. You fill in the blank, literally, with your markers. Does it happen? It happened, actually, in uh, Detective Comics, Volume 1, Number 845, back in 2008. And chat rooms were brand new. They used to call them bat rooms. So in that one issue, they put them... You guys ready? I'm yeah. filling. I'm trying to fill. Uh, it was great. We're going to start. Links a lot. You, you, you do okay. do it. Okay. Uh, not Batman 67. Smart. I would never think he was either Batman, and the fact that it was 67 also throws you off. There's 66 other not Batman okay. in the same Got chat it. room. A little weird, because I went with No Pain, No Wayne, 62. Okay, now that's a dead giveaway. If I'm on the chat room, I'm like, you must be Bruce Wayne, who must be Batman. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm putting yeah. it all together, man. Yep. His is a little more incognito. Right. So you get the point. Right. Oh, come on. Okay. All right, rest your answers. Put them down, man, because I'm going to give you the real answer. Ready for this? Batman's alias in a chat room, John Doe 297. What, what? I added the what, what. Ready <laughs> Early for this? lead for the linkster. Don't worry, man. It's all going to be retro in the next. That's right. Here we go. In 1978, kids, Superman teamed up with celebrity blank, fill in the blank, to defeat an alien invasion. 78? Which major celebrity in the year 1978 did Superman team up with to fight an alien invasion? Wow. Somebody who was big in 78. Mm -hmm. Now, I was big boned in 78. I could be one of the answers, possible answer. Bobby, okay. I'll help you out. It's not me. Okay. okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Take it away. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Which is an excellent guess. That's correct, right? Incorrect. Oh. But oh, ex okay. absolutely deep cut poll. Okay. All right. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here with Superman at the um, on the scene of the alien invasion. Oh my god, that is the worst Kermit the Frog <laughs> <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Hi-ho, this is Kermit the Frog. Hi-ho. Yeah, you're okay. getting closer. Work on it. Oh, wow. All right, well, Your answer is I'm woefully incorrect. Answer. It's incorrect, but that's a good It's not poll. even a person. Uh, all right, you guys want the real answer? Yes. yes. Here we go. Mohammed 
Bali. Oh. Oh, for real? Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it's very wild. Hi ho, who gets the point? Mm, let me I see. Mean, I, mine's a human who was big in 78. Burt Reynolds is a good idea. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, a good yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kermit is, you know, it's. So just... far, the boys are, are now tied. Okay, great. Okay. We're going to the third question. Ready, gents? Yes. Before Lois Lane, the Man of Steel had a college sweetheart named Lori Lamaris. But their relationship ended when it was revealed that Lori was blank. Oh. Think now. Don't jump too far. Could be any number of things. Very I've never like. been more confident in, in an answer. You feeling it? Whoa. <laughs> if creativity wins, I bet you I know which way it's going to go. Let's start over here with the lesser response. She was developing a kryptonite clothing line. Oh, that would be a showstopper. We need some distance. Yep. Good point. But watch, we're going to drop a few points right over here. Show me a response. Come on, <laughs> come on. Hey. That's phenomenal. It he's got, he's got principles. It happens, you know? You know? You're, and you're like, oh, it was going to be such a good thing, but we're going to have weird babies if we keep this up. But I, you know? it seems like I know something about the comic. <laughs> yeah, you know something about reality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you both like to know the real answer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a mermaid. She was a mermaid. This explained why Lori was in a wheelchair, also covered in a blanket from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, how Think long did it take to figure this out? A long time, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, but I've got to give a point, and come on. Like, I almost want to give two points for yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. No, no, okay. I won't. All right, boys, the game is anybody's. Really, it's Rhett's. Here's the next question. Not true. On the cover of World's Finest, number nine. Ah, uh, yes. Issued in 1943, Batman, Robin, and Superman, oh, trifecta of heroes, oh. are all seen throwing blank... At blank. Use your imaginations or your brains. I'm using my brain this time. Good plan. This is on the cover? You know what I'm saying? Man, this is big. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start right over here. Do it up, Link. Koosh balls at Joker's crotch. All right, that's funny. Every, oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. funny. That could totally You know work something's funny when people don't laugh, they just say, yeah. that's, that's funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, hey, what's every villain's weakness? That was not it. This was 1943. The Koosh had not been invented, right. nor had crotches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crotches <laughs> didn't exist. We're going to jump over to this side. Okay, uh, I think the three of them were throwing... Shade at Aquaman. <laughs> oh, Even get... back then in 1943, yeah. they're like, yeah. you're useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, man, wow. That's going to get the win. It's not the answer. <laughs> That's going to get the point. You guys really want to know what it was? Baseballs. Batman, Robin, and Superman throwing baseballs yeah. at Hitler. Oh. <laughs> right? Not as good. Um, okay, this is the last question of the first round before we go into final lightning round. Ah! Okay. Nonsense. Here we go. In an issue of Supergirl, pink kryptonite doesn't make Superman weak. It makes him interested in blank. Pink kryptonite? Think about it now. I Here got, we go. I got an answer. Let's, let's go in the direction of the, the lead. I won't say the winner, but the guy in the lead. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm changing my answer. <laughs> Good, because we're going to go to the guy in the lead. Rhett, rock him. Okay. Drop him like it's hot. Pink kryptonite makes Superman interested in crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Hobby Lobby? Uh, Sends him right to the Hobby Lobby yeah, from yeah, the Fortress yeah. of Solitude hey, you, to the Hobby Lobby. You ought to see the stuff he can do. Can you do, can you do those yarn covers for toilet papers? Have dolls in them look, make it look like he's wearing a dress? Oh, I love he, those. Yeah, those are scary. He does like seven a minute. He's yeah. a Superman. Yeah, Superman. Crafts. Good answer. Mm -hmm. Not good enough. Here we go. We're jumping over to here. Link, save yourself. Uh, I decided to go against my instinct and change my answer. I'm saying the fellas. Oh, my oh, Lord. Wow. Okay, I see. I don't know. That would be... What year is this that you're going to say something like this, man? You got to get with the times. That's old thinking. Oh, wait, it is. It's actually false. <laughs> <laughs> the response is men. Go, yeah. go figure. I, this happened in an issue of Supergirl, Volume 479, takes place in an alternate timeline, very alternate, where Superman is exposed to pink kryptonite. One scene features Superman flirting 
with photojournalist Jimmy Olsen. Really? And here's an actual line. Did I ever tell you how smashing you look in bow ties, Jimmy? By the way, that's a fabulous window treatment you put together. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's, that's a line in the actual comic. That's amazing. You, you not only treatment. do you win that round, but because you got it right, you didn't win by default. Funny answer. I'm going to give you two points. Oh, no. <laughs> so that means we're both tied three and three. Woo. Okay. All we right. got things work out. Okay. I am thrilled. Okay, man, every good superhero has lightning involved in their life somehow, so of course we have a lightning round. What I'm gonna do is read off the names of villains, and all either of you have to do is identify which hero they belong to, Batman or Superman. And here we go, the rainbow creature. Superman. Batman. Parasite. Batman. Darkseid. Superman. Batman. Boy, they suck at this. Eradicator. Batman. Superman. The Penny Plunderer. Batman. Batman. The King of Cats. Batman. Brainiac. Superman. Batman. I think you're just saying Batman for every one now. I am. I definitely am. Good plan. It though. might be good a good call. strategy. It is a good call. It might Batman be a great is strategy. the answer to everything. It so. might be a right. great strategy. And the Calculator. Batman. Superman. Professor Hamilton. Batman. Batman. Crazy Quilt. Batman. Superman. Whoa. I'm just saying Batman, Superman. I see. I, I've been <laughs> noticing. You're alternating back and forth. I like your strategies. Here we go. Lobo. Batman. Superman. Clayface. Batman. Batman? Mixus Pitalik. Batman. Batman. Gog. Batman. Superman. The Clue Master. Batman. Mongol. Superman. Doctor Hugo Strange. Batman. 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 Toy Man. Batman. Superman. Hush. Superman. Batman. Two more, here we go. Stay with me, kid. Batman, Batman. Ratcatcher. Superman. And finally, Bizarro. Superman. Superman. Now you, yep. now you said Batman first, and you added Superman. You committed to Batman, Batman in advance. It's like <laughs> the way did. Babe Ruth pointed to you, that you, field you, and was you, like, you I'm going to hit it there. I went with Batman. You stick I'm with going Batman. Batman across the board. Done. Done. And the winner is... Right, man, right did it. Right, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. So you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jen. And this is Batman. And we're from Syracuse, New York. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, in life there are always winners and losers. In this case, this is the loser and this <laughs> one's the winner. Yes. Rhett won and that means you win the sidekick. Come on out, sidekick. Wow. It's Chase. What's the SB stand for? Sidekick boy. <laughs> I like that. Wow. He puts his self on his chest sidekick like I do me. Boy. Okay, sidekick boy. Sidekick uh -huh. boy. Fetch me some coffee. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just like a Hollywood intern. He's so compliant. I love it. Check out Kevin on his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kevin Smith. And click through to Good Mythical Marvel. We're going to be hanging out with Kevin and shooting the breeze. Let's shoot the breeze together. Let's do it. Let's shoot everything together. Just well. Let's Shout out breeze. to breezes. Mechanical Pencils. Shout out to you, Mechanical Pencils, because I'm one button away from continuing to write. Shout out to you, Mechanical Pencil. You helped me defend myself against the bullies in grade school Ooh. with shout your pointy to, tip. Sorry. Shout out to you, Mechanical <laughs> Pencil, because I still have a piece of you in my knee. Because you were the bully? That was you? Oh my lord, I remember stabbing you in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like changing the subject. It's not Enough I, about that. Hold on. I got a television. No, it's just gonna brag for no, no reason. Is <laughs> I don't even know where you're going with it. but I'm how, going to a moose. But how, how can uh, we have a television in our office be the start of anything?